Welcome back to Trusted Nose I'm with the man that likes to smell good. I hope you're well, in good health, and of course, smelling great, smelling tanta noisy, just smelling. So, gentlemen, winter's coming, so I've got to get you prepared. So, we're starting off with Carlisle versus Red Tobacco versus Triumph of Bacchus. All of these fragrances share similarities, but are different in their own way. But anyway, I'm ready, I hope you're ready, so let's go. So with all of these fragrances, Carlisle, Red Tobacco and Triumph of Bacchus, um, if you're smelling it from a distance, they kind of all smell the same, but as you get closer to a person or as you delve deeper into it, there's quite big differences between them. So let me get on to the actual smells of both of them. So Carlisle, or all three of them, sorry. So Carlisle, Red Tobacco, and Triumph of Bacchus. I've only got a sample of this, but it was a decent sized sample, so I think I know what I'm talking about with this one, yeah. So let me start off with Carlisle, yeah? So Carlisle is basically a vanilla, a vanilla tonka bean, slightly sandalwoody nutmeg. Uh, it's got this touch of tobacco and it's got this like caramelized like apple sweetness to it. But it's overall got this like very smooth, sultry like sexiness to it. It's very like, I would say it's very like seasonal. So it reminds me a lot of Christmas, um, but it's just smooth all the way through from start to finish. It's just, it's got that X factor in my opinion. So with red tobacco now, <laughs> with red tobacco, the opening is shockingly messed up. Yeah, the, the opening is just, I don't know, the opening is mad. It's like you sprayed like 10,000 perfumes at once and then it's just a mess. The opening's an actual mess. Um, it takes time to get used to the opening. Like the first few, I'll say like the first four times you actually spray it, like when you're first trying it ever, you're thinking, what the hell is this? But obviously over a time like progresses, you realize it's not as crazy as you first thought, or maybe your nose just gets used to it, but the opening's a mess. So with this red tobacco, it's like similar. It's got that vanilla, tonka bean, um, apple fruitiness, like a green apple in this one. But it's got this very, very like prominent like cherry tobacco. So this one's more complex than um, Carlisle in a sense that, like with Carlisle, I told you like the opening is like still very like smooth. It's got this butt refill. This one's like the opening's rough. Then it gets smooth, and then it's just like cherry tobacco like straight away, um, straight after. But yeah, it's this one that is like very, it's very tobacco forward. That's all the only way I can say it. It's just very, very cherry pipe tobacco forward. Yeah. And then we got Triumph for Bacchus. So Argos, yeah, they were cheeky. I'll be honest with you. So with Triumph for Bacchus, Triumph for Bacchus smells a lot like red tobacco, more than red tobacco does with Carlisle. But I feel like with, no, not that I feel like, I know that Argos copied red tobacco and they just made it so much more better. So you don't get this like mad, erratic, crazy opening. You get this nice like smooth opening, similar to Carlisle, but not as smooth as Carlisle. Um, you get this booziness, so you get this boozy tonka bean vanilla. Um, it's more fruity than all of them, so it's way more, way more fruity, so you get more of a prominent apple, you get more of a cherry um, note, and you do get this tobacco, but it's not as prominent as the tobacco in red tobacco, obviously. So best way I can put it here is like, there, you know, there's a meme, yeah? Where, uh, if I find it, I'm gonna put it here right now, yeah? So the meme was like sexual assault and flirting, yeah? So sexual harassment and flirting. Red tobacco, that's sexual harassment, yeah? Because that tobacco is way too much. Sexual harassment. Um, Triumph for Bacchus is flirting, yeah? I'm gonna put that picture here right now and you'll see what I mean. So that's that. So in terms of 
smell wise it's tough it's tough so it's two horse race between carlisle and red tobacco i would um carlisle and try for backers i would say that because of the nutmeg in carlisle it gives it this like christmasy almost like gourmand feel i'll i will put it in the gourmand category um the fruitiness in trying for backers gives it like this jelly like quality fruitiness i would say that they're both equal so in terms of like smell wise trying for backers and carlisle they both get the point in this one um red tobacco i'm so sorry uh, you, you don't get that point so let me go on to reactions like what's going to garner you the most attention what do people like the most so if you're just looking for attention then <laughs> whether it be positive or negative yeah actually let me scratch that let me just say performance yeah positive or negative the performance of red tobacco beast yeah nuclear like carlisle and triumph for backers they can't compete at all at all so Red Tobacco at number one when it comes to performance. Nuclear, that's beyond beast mode, yeah. Nuclear performance. Uh, Carlisle, I'll say like it's a level, maybe two levels below beast mode, but it's still a very, very good performer. So Carlisle at number two when it comes to performance. And Red Tobacco and um, Triumph for Backers. I keep on making that mistake. Triumph for Backers is the worst performing at the three, but it's still a decent performer. It's still above average. So, yeah. So when it comes to like compliments, when it comes to compliments, my guy, ooh, I would say, I will say Carlisle number one. And I'll tell you why. Maybe my boy, my like rating system is a little bit screwed because I have a bottle of this, but like when it comes to dates, yeah, this has really held me down. I can't, I can't stress how much this has held me down when it comes to dates. I'm guaranteed a compliment when I wear this. Guaranteed. Yeah, this is fine boy juice. If you're a fine boy, you've got to wear this fragrance. If you're not a fine boy, I'm so sorry, my guy. You need to go and get your money up. But Triumph for Bacchus. That Triumph for Bacchus is good juice as well. I can't lie. When I've asked the babes, they said that this is good juice too. I said, mmm, they said, mmm. Okay, so, hmm, I might have to give it, I'll give it 1-1 one, one again. So I'm gonna give Triumph for Bacchus that point. I'm gonna give Carlisle that point because I don't have a bottle of this. I'm trying to just be like objective. And I know this is like more, I wouldn't say it's more mass appealing than Carlisle, but they're on like the similar type of level. So yeah, I'll give it 1-1. One, one. But that red tobacco, Listen, that red tobacco, the babes don't like it. I'll be honest with you. The babes don't like it. But man, <laughs> men like this fragrance, but girls don't really like it that much. So if you're looking for compliments, don't wear this. Don't wear this. Don't mind all the other people on YouTube saying, oh, it's a banger. My friend, nah, they don't work for me. They don't work for me. Uh, so let me talk about a price point. So that red tobacco, that red tobacco, that, it's got the best price point out of all of them. I forgot how many ml this bottle is. I think it's like 120. 120, um, yeah, 120 uh, milliliters is, um, it's like, you can find it for less than 100 pounds depending on where you're searching or maybe 110 pounds at most, but yeah, it's like a very, very healthy price point. And then it's Carlisle. I know Carlisle, you can get like a smaller size as well, but Carlisle, it's starting to hit the Facebook groups now and people are selling that a, a price that's like between uh, 160 to like 200 pounds for the 100 and 125 bottle, which is this one right here. And that Triumph for Bacchus, because it's coming from a house out in America, it's hard to get in like Europe or um, England or whatever. So um, the price is expensive, man. Uh, it's like over 200 pounds. I know they do the 30 ml, but the 30 ml, every time you find it online, Give it like 10 seconds, it's just sold out. So you have to be sharp on it. But yeah, it's not cheap and it's hard to get. So let me go and talk about the presentation. I don't really talk about presentation. I don't really care too much about presentation, but all three presentation of them, 
it's quite nice. So, you know, I read tobacco, got the red bottle, got the little Mancera thing at the top. You know, Carlisle standard, um, apart from the Marley presentation, but decent, just decent, decent, just decent stuff. But that triumph for Bacchus, that presentation is, is top notch, I can't lie. So you what you got like what the Greek gods or goddesses? I don't know who's on that bottle. Um, got a nice like heavy metal bottle, heavy metal cap. Um, best presentation out of all three. So yeah, I'll give that to try it for backers. So overall, which one's the best? All right, so it's a tough one. You know I'm a loyal guy, and I've had my bottle of Carlisle for a long time. But that triumph of Bacchus is serious, my guy. Gentlemen, triumph for Bacchus is a banger. If Carlisle's a 10 out of 10, triumph for Bacchus is a 10 out of 10 as well. So, right now, inside of me, I feel like saying triumph for Bacchus. But, I feel like Carlisle's held me down so much. And I feel like the novelty of it is like kind of like wearing off right now. So, I don't know, that's skewing my opinion. So I would say, when you put the price point in it as well, I would say, I'll say Carlisle for now. So Carlisle number one, Triumph of Bacchus number two is a very, very close second, yeah? And a red tobacco all the way at the back, man. Forget about that juice, yeah, it's, it's not it. It's not it. So, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It'll be much appreciated. Also, follow me on Instagram and follow me on TikTok, Trusted Knows. And you know what I'm going to say, more videos out soon. And of course, stay blessed.